Hello and welcome to the Chipcast. So, tell welcome to our MLBA week first. MLBA season three, week four, Team Builder and Battle versus Matt Metagross and the coach, or Matt Metagross, the coach of the Washington Redskins. Um, we lost last was eh, we lost last week a narrow one zero loss, which is a sad a bit. Um, but. We're facing off against um, another person in our division, I believe. So, looking at Matt's team, he has a Hoopla Unbound, a Magirna, a Zard X, a Tapu Finny, a Nido King, a Porygon 2, a Kofagrigus, a Hariyama, and a Archin. Now, go looking at it, um, he has Z Hoopa. Um, Z Magirna and Z Archon. No, those just <laughs> basically Matt has eight mons. Now I'm not saying that Archon is you know bad, it is, but um, it just isn't threatening really to my team. I don't think. Um, I I don't think it's threatening to my team. Um, some of the biggest threats he has every, every the threats he has consist of Hoopa, Magirna, Zardex, Nido King. Those thing can those things can like six oh my team easily by themselves. Um, I made like three teams because like it was it wasn't really working. Like I had like I had my first team, which did not do well in mock, and so someone helped me build the team. Did not do good in mock. And so, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to take a while, figure out, like, my counters and shit to the, his threats, and I figured out a team that actually works with the help of Nada, who, um, helped me mock, mock the stuff for me this week. So, big, big thanks to her. Um, so starting off, we have a Life Orb, Life Orb Trick Room Reuniclus, which... Is only really countered by the only thing that really switches in is Magirna, to be honest. Um, on either because I have Trick Room, Signal Beam, Recover, and Psychic. Um, this thing is meant to just punch, like take its jelly little fist and punch holes into his team. Um, although this does bring in Magirna every single time, so I have to be careful around that. Um, I do not have a counter to Magirna, to be honest. Um, so I have to play offensively around it. Um, because nothing on my team switches into it. Except for, like, Shovel Trend. But Shovel Trend doesn't really get this match, in my opinion. So, yeah. Punch holes into uh, his team. Um, next up we have a Fire EMZ, or a Z Sunny Day Papu Bulu. Um, this is my win con. This is my primary win con because um, the things I set up on consist of Coffee Gregus. If it doesn't have HP Poison or Toxic, I can set up on Hariyama if it doesn't have Poison Drop. I can set up on P2 if it doesn't have Toxic. I mean, Toxic is like really just annoying to deal with. I can set up on Finny. So that's four out of nine months, and I can probably set up on Arjun. That's five out of nine moms that I can possibly set up on. And so my whole game plan is ca bring in Kofagrigus, get a free switch into Bulu, Z Sunny Day as he stays in, um, Swords Dance as he stays in, Horn Leech kill it, um, Dual Chop for Zardex, which kills it. Um, the only problem is Magirna, and that takes like 50 to 70 from plus two Horn Leech, so that's good. Um, I would have run Grassy MZ, but I thought Z Sunny Day was better because I don't have to rely on webs. <coughs> Next up, we have a Custat Berry Fortress because Custat Berry is allowed. Spikes, Rapid Spin, Explosion, and Stealth Rocks. This has enough speed to outspeed, I believe. A non invested Hariyama, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just speed investment. I don't under I don't think it will come into handy, but still, it could be nice to set up hazards before a Hariyama, 
And then, and then explosion is really nice because you know, um, Koopa. I don't want to give that. Like, I don't want like. So, say you, I lead Fortress as he leads like X. I right, stealth rock, on his dragon dance. I spike if he. I could. So then I spike again, and if he dragon senses again, I click another spike, and he flare blitzes me right, and then I explode the next turn. Free cust uh, and cust that berry, and then I might be a little screwed if it doesn't kill, but we'll figure it out from there. Um, next up, we have a grassy seed halucha. This is my secondary win con. Um, acrobatics, uh, sword stance, PJ, have a high jump kick. This hits the majority of his team and does a shit ton of damage. This the reason why I'm bringing Halucha, right? Instead of like Shoppletran or Shakatran or even Wooper, um, is because one, this is a secondary win con if Bulu ever goes down, and two, this lures out lures in one of Bulu's counter or one of the mons that Bulu sets up on, which is Coffer Grigus. So I can send this thing in, lure in Coffag, and get my switch into Heatran or <laughs> Yeah, Hedron, uh, Bulu, and try to win from there. So I think it's really nice to have Halucha here. Um, although, now that I'm looking at it, um, Ho Hooper was one of my counters with Zardex. Um, I don't have a switch into Zardex anymore. So hopefully I'm not screwed by that decision. Um, next up we have a Spadef Kiram. Or no. Yeah, sort of Spadef Kiram Black with a Bonberry. Um, just in case Zardex is it's Zardex versus Karen Black, I am not scared out by Dragon Claw or Outrage because I live and then I click Earth Power, deal a shit ton of damage, maybe even kill Zardex. Sub is I can sub up on a defensive Cough of Grigus without it breaking my sub, reduces longevity, Ice Wind and Earth Power hits the majority of this team for super effective, it's something like Finny. So that's really nice. And last but not least, we have a expert belt offensive Galvantula, Thunder Bug Buzz, Volt Switch, and Hit the Ground. This is also to break holes into his team, take its little spidery leg, punch, punch, punch. So, yeah, I'm hoping to win with Bolu, um, and I'm predicting him to bring Zardex, Hoopa and Bound, Magirna, Tapu Fini, Nido King, and Coffer Vegas. Now. <laughs> I'm hyped. I, I'm loving MLBA so far, despite my team being, you know, sort of lackluster compared to everyone else's. But, um, I will see you in the battle portion. Alright, hello and welcome to the battle. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Kovac is here. Um, Koopa, correct. Nido King, right. P2 over Finny. So he replaces one mon I can set up with another mon I can set up on. I sent five out of six, right? Thank you. Alright, so. He did not bring any removal except for Charizard, which I doubt is going to be removal. Sets. Open the calculator. All right, so I I really want to lead with Fortress, but if Zard gets off too many um, Dragon Dances, I just get six of swept. Explosion does fifty percent. I have to sack off another one. That's sort of problematic. Only fortress. He leads with Gerna. Cool. What do I have for Magirna again? Nothing. Nice. Nice and nothing. I forgot how I dealt with Mag in versus. Hmm. 
How did I deal with Mac? With Nada. I need to pull up some replays. How did I deal with Mag? Uh, multiple Pokemon. Um, if it's Trick Room, I think I'm fine. If it's Shift Gear, I'm sort of in trouble. I'm just gonna set up Brock's. Call my ooh shit. That's a problem. Let's set up a spike. Should I, this, should I set up another one? Because I'm going Halucha after. He's plus three staff. Oh shit, I'm screwed. Help me. Uh, I'm... Help. <laughs> I should have brought Wubre. Twenty percent, it's not bad. What do I do now? Well, I have to obviously go Lucha. Click HJK. Or not. <laughs> I got six of swept. I can't kill this thing now. That sucks. No, I mean, I got a crit, but still. Trick room turns. Hold up. Fuck, man. Blue can fucking pull the rest of the game out of his ass. That's so sad. Oh, fucking god. Jeez. Comment, subscribe, really helps the channel. Follow us more, you know. Bye.